Have you ever modified your input data in one area of your model and then rerun a simulation only to find that the results have changed in another area, an area where no input data was modified? In this modeling tips video, we'll go over a couple reasons why that might occur and how to resolve them. This example includes two scenarios. Scenario 1 is the original. Scenario 2 was cloned from the original and then input data was modified at Basin S30. This is the only place where data was modified. However, there are slight differences in the results in this area where we did not make input adjustments. You can see those differences in this custom link report comparing Scenario 1 and Scenario 2. For example, link S38 has a slightly higher maximum flow in the second scenario. Small differences like this are probably acceptable, and it's up to the engineer whether they need to be fixed or not. What is important is to understand why these differences might occur. The first reason is that there could be instability within the model. This is the most common cause. The second reason is that the model is marching through time differently due to the input data change. In either case, be aware that differences are often more pronounced in models that have very little storage. You can see that this model does have some instability as apparent in this link time series chart. Fixing instabilities addresses the scenario differences in most cases. To correct those instabilities, please review this help topic and make simulation parameter adjustments as needed for your model. In this demonstration, I've created a second simulation for each scenario with those recommended adjustments in order to smooth out those spikes and oscillations that we saw a moment ago. However, after running the new simulations, there are still slight differences in those areas where the two scenarios were identical. So even though we have more stable results for the two scenarios, the model is stepping through time differently and our results are different. In the extreme case that your model still shows differences between scenarios after correcting instabilities, you may have to force the routing time step. To do that, I've cloned the newer, more stable simulations to create a third simulation for each scenario. Now on the General tab, I've changed the minimum and maximum time steps to the same increment. This forces the two simulations to use the same increment for comparison. Now, when we compare the results, we don't see differences between the two scenarios, except in that region where we made the changes at the start of the video.